Calcony is a special collaboration between uh, Veronique Saray and I as Stone Composers. It's one of a, a number of our special works that we work on, um, a project called Heartland. I think it's important for symphony orchestras nowadays to broaden a little bit their sound world experience. It's not just the repertoire, it's the fact that we need to see different sound worlds from different cultures and trying to not just imitate but enter in that world. Our job as the orchestra is to try to transport the entire concert hall in this world, in this world of, um, for me, is a mythological ego. Well, William and I have been working together for quite a while. So usually one of us comes up with a melody or a drone or one element of the piece, and then we sort of just workshop it in that way and then come up with a structure. I'm playing the violin in Calcony. I also use my voice, but rather than just use the instrument as the way it's notated, I love to bring all kinds of different sounds to evoke the landscape. So I'm using lots of extended techniques and I also sing and try and go into the world of the didgeridoo, but also it's almost like having a foot in both worlds or sound in both worlds. I guess it's creating the landscape, but I think of it as in just like nature, where you hear sound from here and sound from there and the cacophony and then nothing and sparse. And there's that real sense of surround sound, which actually an orchestra can give you. I think part of my job, I mean, a conductor is not necessarily the right word. You are a, a network or an inspirer or, or an enabler for musicians. So the first thing I asked is who is open to experiment. So for example, playing without the music or to play in other parts of the hall or to improvise or to imitate. So this was the starting point. And then we had like 12, 14, 15 players really keen of that. And the rest of the orchestra is a sort of symbolized to me the, the humanity that actually is less prone to freedom, but still gets drawn by the spiritual guidance. So with uh, the, the new uh, version of Calcony, you know, it's important to get all those notes down on the piece of paper for all the other wonderful musicians. And so in that process, you know, we've engaged with Robert Davison um, of topology fame and, you know, a really great musician, great composer and great friend. So the did you do, you know, it is our quintessential Australian unique instrument and you hear the sound when you're overseas, you know, in the most far out places from America to Asia to, to in the middle of Europe somewhere. and. It's like a calling back home, even if it's a non-Indigenous player performing on it. You're like, ah, oh, that, that's from country, you know, that, that takes me back home to that space where I grew up. What makes it unique in the orchestral realm is that you have this great resonance of the Australian landscape and it's a part of a legacy. And with the, with the appropriate intention, when you perform on the instrument in a very Western classical uh, environment, you know, I have to think about and I need to and I want to um, think about, you know, my journey, where, where I've come from and my teacher, my mentor and mentors of the instrument and I'm bringing their language of the landscape, well, my language of the landscape, um, acknowledging that it's part of something much greater than us on the stage, it's actually beyond us, you know, and we're just a part of this very beautiful chapter in Australia's history, musically, that we can, you know, initiate with, um, First Nations composers and uh, really acknowledge the our, our own landscape and, and, and utilize the symphony orchestra, the, you know, the classical instruments uh, where you know the violin is like the human voice and the do the, the do you do bowing on the cellos and double bass and the not too dissimilar technique on the brass and the woodwind and so on and combine them all together, you know, and it is like a, a cacophony of sound, you know, polyphony of sound from, from, the, from the landscape that I try to draw in through to the instrument uh, where it sits on the bed of the orchestra and Veronique Solomon. We, we are looking forward actually to see where this goes and also acknowledging that only with an audience a piece of art actually exists. Mm -hmm.